Okay, let's spend some time talking about the, the new Mercury engine that's probably the single most important performance related uh, enhancement to CS5. Now, Mercury engine is a pretty generic term. It refers to three aspects of the program. Number one, and let me show you something about this system that I'm working on. It, it works under 64 bits, and as we all know, 64 bits allows you to address a whole lot more memory, but you're going to need a 64-bit operating system to, um, to run CS5. So this is uh, an HP Z400 workstation. It's brand new. It's a six-core um, system. And that brings up the other benefit of the Mercury engine is that it leverages multiple core systems much more effectively than CS4. So here you're seeing uh, in Windows Task Manager, you're seeing all the CPUs. It's a six-core system with hyper-threading. You've got 12 cores shown. So number one is 64-bits, is number two is, is better multi-core performance, and number three is GPU acceleration. GPU stands for Graphic Processing Unit. Um, you'll also hear that referred to as CUDA. CUDA is the technology that NVIDIA uses to, to accelerate the, um, the, the playback from the preview window and also the rendering from, uh, from Premiere Pro to Adobe Media Encoder. Let's go over to Project Settings and look at the video rendering and playback toggle. Now you see two options here. One is Mercury Playback Engine GPU Acceleration. That's how you enable the GPU acceleration component of the Mercury Playback Engine. Now if you don't have a compatible graphics card, and the only compatible graphics cards are made by NVIDIA, if you don't have a compatible graphics card, if you have an ATI card, if you have a Matrox card in your computer, or if you have an incompatible NVIDIA card, this will be your only option, but obviously we have, a, we have an NVIDIA card that supports the, the, uh, the GPU acceleration in this computer. But let's start with software only, and then we'll, uh, we'll come back to GPU acceleration later and see uh, how much of a performance difference that makes. So here's our video effects, and it's important to note that GPU acceleration only works with specified effects. Now, fortunately, there's a whole lot of effects that are accelerated, and the fast color corrector is the effect that I use probably most often when I'm doing my color correction work. And as you can see here, if you see this icon, that's the three-way, and here's the fast color corrector. If you see this icon, it means it's hardware accelerated, which means the GPU will do all the work and the CPU won't do any of the work. And I've got the fast color corrector applied to the bottom clip here. Now this clip has a couple of elements that you can see over here in the preview window. One is the, one is the bottom clip, and that's the, the full screen clip here. One is the picture-in-picture picture over here, and the other is the title. Now, I shot this. It, it's an audition DVD, as you can see here. I shot it with a Canon EOS 7D, and this is a, an, H, an H.264 base format that's probably been one of the most problematic for CS4 uh, in the past because it rendered very slowly, and it was really kind of a pain to work with. Uh, and, and an AVC HD is, is a similar H.264 base format, and it's a pain in the butt to work with as well. If you ever tried to work with that with CS4, especially on a 32-bit machine, you know it's been pretty painful. And all of that's gone with CS5. Let me stop talking and I'll start showing. Now you'll get pretty smooth playback. The, the question is how much of the CPU is that going to require? And to measure that, let me go into a special debug mode. And where are the dog ears here? And this is going to show us how much of the CPU is consumed by the playback. And let me make this a little bit bigger so we can see it better. And okay, so here we're seeing that the CPU load is anywhere between there's 90, and we're getting down into the into the 50 and 60 range. So we're seeing a lot of the CPU is is devoted to um, you know, to processing this clip and to previewing the relative portion. And now I'm going to go back into the project window and I'm going to enable hardware GPU acceleration. Okay, I need to delete the previews and CPU load is here. And I don't know if you noticed this, but the, the, uh, the, the line beneath the time scale here went from red, which means it's not going to play in real time perhaps, and it needs rendering to preview, to yellow, which means it should preview in real time. And let's click play, and after a few seconds it settles down and we're seeing numbers in the 40s. So we're seeing a lot less CPU utilization and we're seeing it much more consistent. And that's the benefit of hardware acceleration.